McDonald's Sports and Fitness Festival has been out there without the biggest sports and fitness festival in the world. And you see literally hundreds and hundreds of bodybuilders that are ripped the big arms, the ripped chest, the abs, and the whole thing from all over the world, from 80 different countries competing there for the Arnold Classic Trophy. Sports and Fitness Festival is much more than just a bodybuilding competition. Because then you go from the bodybuilding champions over to the martial arts. Then you see the different styles of martial arts. Then you see the kickboxing. Then you see the full contact karate. Then you see the sword fighting. And you see the archery championships. And it goes on and on and on. I mean, you have from cheerleading uh, to track and field, to boxing, weightlifting, powerlifting, world's strongest main competition, bodybuilding, women competition, fitness competition. I mean, everything that you can think of, you have here. just for kids. To really train the kids and to expose kids already to the fitness movement and the sports and the fitness in an early age. To get them off the couch and out of the house and to do something. Sports and Fitness Festival came actually from the Arnold Classic. So we started the Arnold Classic Championships, the World Championships in bodybuilding, and it in no time became as important as the Mr. Olympia competition and as any kind of Mr. Universe competition. But then all of a sudden, you know, uh, the idea came about why don't we have other sports participate? So we had martial arts, which was one of my favorite sports. Then it was powerlifting. Then I also came from the weightlifting background, so I did Olympic lifting, we included that. Then it was, it was the world's strongest man competition. And so one thing led to the next, and obviously the gymnasts came and said, can we be part of it? Then the axe-throwing champions came and said, can we have the world championships in axe-throwing? And uh, then track and field came to us, and all of those different sports started coming to us and saying, can we make our sports competitions part of the Arnold Classic Sports and Fitness Festival. And it is because of you that we have the most successful fitness weekend in the world, right here in Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio, it's Andre Sals from Mix 1079, and we are gearing up for the Arnold Sports Festival. Then all of a sudden the convention idea came about. Why don't we have manufacturers of food supplements and of equipment and of clothing and tanning and all of this kind of people kind of display their stuff. And in the middle we had all these different sports. So it never was kind of a boring and expo. Like you walk around and you see all these great manufacturers of equipment and then you see all of a sudden the world championships in arm wrestling. And now there will be a thousand people standing around and these guys will be doing arm wrestling. So this became very popular, this concept 
and became bigger and bigger. And now we have it like, you know, like I said, 250,000 people are watching it. But what was interesting was, was when he said, let's do this concept in the national. Why do we have it just in Columbus? Why I have just in Columbus 80 different sports come together, 250,000 spectators, 22,000 uh, athletes. Why don't we take this great formula and do it international? And we started with Europe. And we started taking it to Spain. Then we took it to South America. And, and this is how it grew to Africa and Australia and the other continents. Now we're in all six different continents, so it's really fantastic the way they spread and they're getting bigger and bigger in every one of the continents. But now when you walk around, it is wild. So one of the things that we are also doing with the Armin Classic is, is kind of to uh, bring all of my different philosophies together. Everyone has the right to exercise, everyone should have the opportunities to exercise, everyone should have the opportunities to eat great food, healthy foods and stuff like that. So I'm a fanatic about this, that everyone should be treated the same way. It doesn't matter if you're a Special Olympian, if you're best buddy, if you're uh, physically handicapped, if you're intellectually challenged, uh, or if you have some other kind of a disease, whatever it may be, that maybe you need special attention. Those are the people that we also have to dedicate ourselves to. Those are the people that should also find equipment and trainers in gymnasiums and have the opportunity to also get fit and to also work them, the, 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 themselves up to be in great shape in orders. So this is kind of like what the Arnold Classic is about. We have specific competitions for those athletes, the special athletes. And it's fantastic to watch a tennis game, people in wheelchair, over the watch. And you can see this all after when you go around the Arnold Classic from one hall to the next. You can see always that basketball players that are playing on wheelchairs. And you can see all of those kind of things. Everyone, you can see weightlifting, for instance, with people that have, uh, uh, you know, just one leg. Very inspirational to me. Those are the athletes that really inspire me the most. So I think it is important that we always stress that, that training and sports and fitness is for everyone. There was this guy that I met. He had cerebral palsy. He weighed around 98 pounds or so. Very slim looking, but he was lifting. So I said to myself, I said, wow, this is really impressive. Someone that has this kind of a challenge and illness, you know, is lifting weights. So then I watched him. He was lifting like 200 pounds. And I said, wow, 200 pounds, this is like double his body weight. That's really impressive how many people can lift double their body weight. So I was so impressed by his performance that I said, you got to be on the main stage. Today I thought that I should introduce you to some of my heroes. And so this kid went out there and performed in front of the 5,000 people. He's waiting for the crowd! Yes! And it was really like mind-blowing. And he got a standing ovation. And a great inspirational athlete. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One of my favorite moments also at the Arnold Classic was Eddie Williams, who is a, one of the world's strongest men. And he competes every year. He's a Samoan kind of a guy that is just has a great personality and uh, very, very funny. And so after it was the, the world's strongest man was competition was over, I, I interviewed always those strong men on stage. And then I found out that he apparently is a singer. Uh, and then I said, I said, you sing? And he says, yeah, yeah, I sing every so often. I said, I'm not a great singer, he says, but I sing. And then I said to him, I said, can you do me a favor? I said, 
uh, do you need anything special to sing? Because it would be really great if you can sing right here on the stage. I said, wouldn't this be great? I said to the audience that they were all screaming and applauding and egging him on, like, you should do it. And then he took the guitar and uh, I said, are you really going to sing? And he says, yeah, if you want me to sing. So he started singing and he started singing, lean on me. Lean on me. How talented he was. I mean, he was a straight winner. So, those are the kind of special moments that we have at the Arnold Classic Sports and Fitness Fe Festival. I'm blown away by that. I just have to sit down afterwards and say, wow, all those great athletes, this was really inspirational. And this is what it's about, it's inspiring people. When they walk through this hall, I want them to be so charged up for the entire year, so when they go home, they say, I'm gonna be a champion in something, it doesn't matter what. And I'm gonna train every day for an hour or two. And I'm gonna take my food supplements. And I'm gonna eat well. And I'm gonna get in shape. And I'm gonna lose weight. And I got a six pack and all this kind of thing. That's what we want people to do. Walk away from the armor task and be charged up and be inspired. This is what this whole thing is all about.